Hello, everyone. I'm Wu Yetong from the Surface Analysis Laboratory of Kemin University, Republic of Korea. Today, my presentation is about characteristic and electrochemical performance of self-supporting silicon nitrogen job to reduce graphene oxide carbon nanofibers composite of anode materials for better free lithium air batteries. Next, I will evaluate it from introduction. Firstly, silicon is light in weight but has a high theoretical capacity. But the large volume experience of the silicon particles by 300% during the literation deliteration process will cause the active materials to polarize. Glyphene has a large spectral surface area and high lithium stored capacity, as well as good electrical mobility and mechanical properties. It can improve the electrical conductivity of the material and can buffer the change of the silicon volume for form simple as SEI layer. However, its first cycle plume uh, efficiency is low. The charge and discharge platform is high and the cycle stability is poor. Carbon nanofibers have a high tensile strength and the modulus of elasticity. It has excellent physical and chemical stability, excellent electrical conductivity, and cycle characteristics. The next is experimental process. The first part is the process of carbon nanofibers synthesis. First, we repaired an air complemental complex for the growth of the carbon nanofibers, and then we synthesized carbon nanofibers by chemical vapor deposition. The second part is the silicon nitrogen drop to reduce graphene oxide carbon nanofibers composite and its preparation process. We also prepared a control group for comparing electrochemical performance. The part is a result and a discussion. It shows the cam imaging. We can clearly see that the surface of the silicon nanoparticles is evenly covered with a graphene layer, and the carbon nanofibers are interpressed between the silicon nanoparticles to form a simple three-dimensional structure. It can be seen from the XRD result that silicon nanoparticles nitrogen drop to reduce graphene oxide and carbon nanofibers did not change significantly after forming the composite and or existed in the composite. We can calculate from the Lama results that the IDIG ratio of the silicon nanoparticles nitrogen drop to reduce graphene oxide carbon nanofibers composite is small. From the results of the TGA, we can effectively calculate the content of each compost in the composite and used in future research. From the results of STIR, we can confirm the existence of a real chemical bonds in the composite and can effectively grasp the success of the preparation of the composite. It can be seen from the above experimental results that we have successfully repaired the silicon nanoparticles, nitrogen drop to reduce the graphene oxide carbon nanofibers composite. This part is concluded. In this study, carbon nanofibers is interspersed around silicon particles, which can effectively accommodate and buffer the volume change of the silicon. Nitrogen dropped or reduced graphene oxide can not only change the electrical density, but also generate more vacancy and defect in the RGO structure. The nitrogen dropped um, RGO structure is linked by chemical bonds to prevent the silicon nanoparticles from falling off the carbon based due to the expansion of the surface area of the silicon nanoparticles and to prevent direct contact between the silicon nanoparticles and the electrolyte. Allow the silicon nanoparticles to maintain their orange volume and from a stable SEI field. Thank you very much.